Hello, I have a brand new addressable fire alarm system. It is uh, conduited, by the way. It is the MS9050UD by fire, Firelight Alarms as a control panel. It has two 7 amp hour batteries. It has a Ditec surge suppressor. And in case you don't know, surge suppressors, uh, what they do is whenever like t too much energy comes into the panel through the AC power, it sends the excess energy through the ground, so you need a ground. And the system is grounded, by the way, because everything is done in conduit, like I said. So uh, here's the ground. The AC power connection comes in. I mean, it's kind of dark, but it comes in there through the um, this black power cable. Which is actually a plug-in thing here. This is 14 gauge. This thing will draw like the maximum of 3 amps, so 14 gauge really wasn't necessary, but I did that anyway. Uh, it has one of these fancy uh, screw-in things. I think it's called like a non-metallic cable attacher or something. Anyway, so the AC power comes into this cord. Then it is uh, hardwired parallel with the surge suppressor, and the AC power connections are behind that board. The reason why I did that is because the uh, cables going to the transformer were very short. This is the enunciator power and data. Yes, I have an enunciator. This is the uh, SLC loop. And the way the SLC loop was wired is there's no end of line resistor, so it has to come right back to the panel. So I think that's called class A. I forgot exactly. Here is a uh, NAC 1 and 2. These do have an end of line resistor on them. So uh, here's all my wiring here. There's the ground cable, ground wire. This cable I have is 18 gauge solid twisted wire. I think it's by, uh, let's see if it's a box. West pin wire. Uh, P E N N West Pin Wire, and the uh, ground cable is 14 gauge solid. With gr it's T H H N. It's by Sarah Wire, I believe. I'll, I'll check on that later, but I think it's Sarah Wire. So I try to keep things very neat. This looks messy, but it's really not that messy. It's extra slack. Have everything labeled with sharpie marker. The S O C loop, like we're gonna goes to the first device, I have that label as out, and then when it comes back to the panel from the last device, I have that label as return. As far as the NAC, I just have you know it labeled NAC1, NAC2. And then for the enunciator power, I just wrote power on the cable. And for data, I just wrote data on the cable. So this is ghetto right here. What happened was I cut this too short and it's not bent properly. This was this part was very hard to do by the way. So it was like there was like barely any space. It was barely touching that little uh can't see that little the metal conduit connector is barely touching that, so I had to put duct tape around it. And I also put electrical tape first. I put electrical tape around the conduit and then duct tape around it, so in case it were to heat up, it wouldn't you know ignite as quickly. So I just put the duct tape there for extra protection and so it kind of match the color of the conduit. Yeah, it's a bright light bulb. I have a little strap coming up here. I have a notification appliance box on the wall. What I did for all of them was, is I spliced it at every box, all the circuits, because it, it would be too hard to send, you know, the wire straight through. So I have, you know, everything here, the enunciator, the SOC loop, everything here. So, and the things I don't use, like this is a notification appliance box, so I'm not gonna use the SOC loop or enunciator circuit, so I cap them off and then put wire ties around them so keep it organized. So here the wire sticking I'm going to use the NAX. I have both NAX at this box and that's ghetto again because I couldn't do a 90 degree bend right there. I know I could buy some little elbows for them, small elbows, but <clears throat> that would be kind of hard also. This is a ceiling mount notification appliance box. Here are the four wires. This is a ceiling mount smoke detector. Moving along, this is a, and uh, anything that goes behind like the surface electrical box, I'll have to use a uh, an extension ring for, 
So if I were to use a chime strobe here, I'll have to use two extension rings because all this wire takes up the entire space of the box. So this will be a monitor module. And the way I have this wired is I have the cables from the monitor module coming down this conduit pipe to this pull station electrical box along with the SLC loop. So if I wanted to, I could use a conventional or addressable pull station right here. So and the reason why I could have just sent one pair of wires and then capped it off whenever I wanted to use the SLC loop down here, but I didn't do that because if I want to use a two stage pull station, it will need two SLC loop connections. So <clears throat> moving along, we follow the conduit. It will come over here where there is a smoke detector, wall mount notification appliance. Then we come over here, there is a ceiling mount notification appliance. This is the end of the circuit. So uh, going through, and also with these, where the duct tape is, I wrapped it in electrical tape first, then duct tape around it. If we come down here, this is where another monitor module will be. This is where the nun seater will be. I uh, couldn't do a 90 degree bend right here. I could have just done like a little 90 degree elbow thing, but those like five bucks a piece, and it, it would have been just too much conduit to use. Like I, I just, and also I kind of like the way this looks. So anyway, I have these little. I know these are supposed to be used for like Romex type cable, but it works for this too. It it's probably not code compliant. So uh, yeah, that's the nun sitter. It comes on here. This is another pull station. I'm kind of OCD, so I don't like the way I had this thinner one not used, but on this one, the bottom piece isn't used, and I could just brought this one down here. But the thing was, is I forgot to run the uh, monitor module wires through here, so I just added another one to the top, if you understand what I mean. So yes, this is my fire alarm system. I got lots of new alarms also, so I'm going to have that wired up. No time, so... Uh, please stay tuned for my other videos.